I'm Ken with Carbon Reduction Services, and today we're going to show you how to use the kilowatt from P3 International. On the face of the kilowatt, you'll notice there are five buttons. The first is the volt reading. This is the measurement of the volts actually at the socket. This should be around 120 volts. That may vary slightly. As you can see, when we push the button here on our test, it came out about 117, which is within normal limits. Next is the amp reading. This is the measurement of electrical current that's actually being drawn by the appliance that you have plugged into the kilowatt. You can see here in our example that we're pulling about 12 amps. Next we have the watt slash VA key. This is a toggle key, which means that when you press it once, you get the watt reading, and you press it a second time, you get the VA reading. The Hertz power factor button measures the electricity in cycles per second. This should be around 60 cycles per second. The power factor is a measure of how efficiently the appliance is using the electricity and should read in between 0.90 and 1. Last but certainly not least is the kilowatts slash hour toggle button. You may recognize kilowatts per hour because this is exactly what the electricity company bills you in units every month. Press once and you get the consumed kilowatt hours of the appliance that you are testing. Press again and you get the amount of hours that it has been plugged into the unit. We suggest plugging in your appliance for at least 24 hours in order to simplify your final calculations. To use the kilowatt, you simply unplug your appliance, plug the kilowatt into the wall, and then plug your appliance into the kilowatt. Try to leave the kilowatt plugged in for an extended period of time. This will give you a more accurate picture of consumption. When you feel you've gathered enough data, you can unplug your appliance from the kilowatt, and then unplug the kilowatt from the wall. Almost forgot. Make sure before you unplug the kilowatt from the wall that you write down all the data, because if you unplug it before you write it down, that data will be lost as the kilowatt does not have a battery backup. So that's the basic rundown of the functions and the numbers that you get out of the kilowatt. If you need more information on what to do with those numbers or what they mean, you can, you can find that information at our website at carbonreductionservices.com. Thanks for watching.